343 currently taking suggestions on how to refresh the big team battle playlist. I have my own ideas, but let's have some ideas in the comment section down below guys. Let's get a conversation going. Let's get right into the details of this video here. So as some of you may know that currently the big team battle playlist is not in the best situation right now. The population of the playlist was so bad they were even contemplating removing it altogether from Halo 5. But we'll consider this my video submission of my critiques on this as Josh Mankey recently just posted up a thing on Halo Waypoint saying this. As some of you all may already know, we have been working on a big team battle refresh. We're now at the point where we would be a great to hear some feedback. Please post your feedback ideas and wish list items in this thread and we'll read through them and see how they fit into what we're doing now. We're especially curious right now about starting weapon ideas, vehicle gameplay, and what modes do you prefer? Given that knowledge, leave a comment guys what your thoughts are on the big team battle plays. What would you like to see updated? Or if you want to, you can go into this uh, thread and leave your own comment on the Halo Waypoint. I leave it in the description down below here. I'm going to give you my bullet points of what I want to see in the big team battle refresh. Fresh. If you guys like these critique videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know when I see some more content like this. Like I said, leave a comment what your thoughts on the Big Team Battle Refresh or what would you like to see change. If you're new to the channel, want we'll to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know the, bell, the sub box can be kind of weird at times. Let's get right into the video here. So first thing for me, top priority is starting weapon. Ever since the BR was patched back in 2017, the weapon has just been completely obsolete in every situation possible. It to the point where it's it's not fun to shoot, it's super inconsistent, it's difficult with using a controller to manage the recoil and bolt spread on that, and it's just not fun to use. It makes me not want to play the big team battle playlist because basically what the reason why they nerfed it is because they wanted to you know give the other weapons in the sandbox you know purpose, make people want to pick these up. And well they certainly did because you have to go pick up these weapons on the map if you want to be competitive. As it stands right now, if you're just going to be walking around with a battle rifle and an assault rifle, you're probably going to get your butt kicked because people are going to be sniping you with DMRs and carbines. So obviously my suggestion for starting weapon is not the current battle rifle. There are different variations of the battle rifle that could work. People have talked about the stabilization BR that they did test this out and they did say that using the stabilization BR was a little bit too much of a laser beam and they kind of ruined the flow of the game, which is totally understandable. People have said you even use the uh, Halo 2 battle rifle and I'm like, yeah, that's going to be pretty overpowered. Like if you guys play the Halo 2 uh, battle rifle playlist right now, You'll see how overpowered that weapon is for good reason because it's a, a wreck weapon and so you can't really have that as a star weapon because it would make every weapon on the map that's not a power weapon obsolete. Well I might get suggestion honestly we just go with a magnum. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't like it because I'm sure some traditionalists when it comes to big team battle want a battle rifle to start out with but where the battle rifle is at right now it's not good and you need to go something that can handle mid the long mid range kind of battles and what weapon does that best the magnum now the magnum fails at long range when you have D compared to dmrs and carbines and weapons of that sort so it would help give the long range weapons uh, some utility while also having the magnum being a nice solid base where you can start out on and also at close range the magnum will lose against assault rifles still uh, against a skilled assault rifle user i should say it's just that the br is currently outclassed in every situation that you're in and it's seen it just feels really inconsistent and so it's just it's really frustrating it's just not fun and so that's the main thing i like to change is say just go with the magnum honestly like that's probably the best op best balanced option now my second point is definitely performance i don't know if you guys have noticed but a lot of the maps in halo 5's big team battle while under stress of playing a game uh, the frame rate drops considerably, considerably almost every match every situation it's kind of ridiculous now if you jump into a custom game you don't experience it because you're not under like a server load of trying to compute all these things while also trying to render out all these graphics for you. When you do it in a game with 16 players, explosions and things going on, the frames will drop consistently. And this pretty much happened ever since they added in the texture update that happened in Forge and they brought that over to Big Team Battle. That's when that really started to happen. So I would love to see some consideration of performance it for these maps now i'm sure if you have an xbox one x or even an s it probably isn't that big of an issue for you because the computing pattern is stronger but you have to cater to the lowest common denominator when it comes to these things that's the standard xbox 
And right now, it can barely handle these big team battle maps. There are very specific situations where you're looking around the map, the frames will drop, your aim goes to shit, and you can't do anything about it, pretty much. Uh, so the common maps where I can have these issues are definitely Entombed, Scavenger, and Recurve. But definitely on like Scavenger, the maps are constantly dropping frames if you're driving anywhere on that map, pretty much. In Entombed, pretty much if you're looking from where the binary rifle spawns to where the OS spawns, there's always a big chunk of frame dropping happening right there. And pretty much every map does have its own performance issues, but uh, the three that I mentioned are really the ones that are the biggest culprit of this. So it's something to really take in consideration when putting in new maps. And one bullet point that was brought up by Menke over here, we're talking about uh, vehicle play. And some maps I think do a really good job, and some maps don't do a very good job at all. Like my general feel when I'm playing these big team battle maps is that vehicles often feel restricted and pathing and don't allow much creativity for the players to take advantage of. Oftentimes I feel like I'm on rails when I'm driving around and forced to go ahead and face first into battles rather than actually having the option to flank or have or using the map to my advantage really. And the maps I feel like I don't have the best experience of pathing for vehicles is definitely uh, that one for snowy forerunner looking map that has a gigantic pyramid in the middle. I could not remember the name of it, but uh, that map is just like, it's terrible for vehicles. It's not fun, super congested, and you're on just basically on rails pretty much on that one. Uh, like Fracture Entombed, Boulevard, and Dispelled really kind of have that same problem as well. I'll say one example of a map that really kind of struggles to have good pathing for vehicles would definitely have to be Dispelled. It's a, that map is a pretty good example is because like essentially there's just one big ring that you can go around and that's about it. You can't really explore the map and uh, kind of uh, you know make your own decisions, especially when you're opening up in the map, the very beginning part where you're at both bases, right? Each team grabs into a tank, and depending if you go left or right, that depends whether or not you're going to go into face-to-face -face battle or you're going to come over behind the guys and kill them. So it's really just like one or the other. It's a total coin flip rather than leaving out the players to find their own pathing or their own way to make their way through the map rather than just being like, well, hopefully they don't go left. They might think, okay, well, you're basically on a, on rails doing that, so you might not like maps that do it like Scavenger World. Scavenger, I think, is actually an excellent example of good pathing because not only is it kind of like narrowed down hallways that you drive through at, but you can go throughout the entire map, various different elevations, different height advantages, and kind of help your team in all over the map with your vehicle rather than just being segregated to these specific locations designated just for vehicles, much like an Entombed as well. That middle section is really just kind of just or vehicles, which is kind of clustered and really tough to use. I think the best pathing of any map is definitely Deadlock, which is the standoff remake that's in Halo 5 Big Team Battle right now, where it's just, it's a big field. You go around, drive wherever you want. You can go far left or far right to kind of do a good flank. You can go right at the middle if you're crazy. You can use the rocks for cover. You can get these hills for cover as well, and you can kind of drive all over the map to kind of utilize your vehicle to help out your team. Those maps like Scavenger and Dead, like I think are the best examples of pathing that I think more maps need to utilize. Now I also would like to have variety. Maybe that's why these maps are selected as to give the players some variety because now I don't want every map to basically play out the same as like saying Viking or Guillotine or something like that. You know, the, the, these two maps like definitely play a little differently, but also have good pathing as well where you might have a vehicle that or a map that's super prominent in vehicles and vehicle play is very important like the sand trap remake but then you can also have maps that are much more infantry focused they like entombed where it uh you know varies in the gameplay so it doesn't play at the same every time so every map has its own unique play style which is very important to have hell maybe even a no vehicle big team battle map i'm just saying just throwing it out there as for playlists i think right now it's pretty good as is uh, i think probably just for the players in general it'd be best to have slayer be a much more heavy weighted game mode right now maybe like 50 percent of your games be slayer and then 50 percent of your games be objective mode well to recap my points here starting weapon not the standard br i say just go with the magnum some people might hate that uh, I just don't think a stabilization BR or a Halo 2 battle rifle would not be a good starting weapon. Now performance for these maps is also very key because oftentimes I'm experiencing a lot of frame drops which messes with my aim and the general experience and vehicle play. Pathing is super important. Like I mentioned, the maps that do excellent job of pathing would be like Alter, Deadlock, Guillotine, Scavenger, Viking, 
Uh, those maps do an excellent job. Our maps like Fracture, uh, Entombed, Boulevard, and Dispelled, not so much. You feel like you're on rails and kind of forcing yourself through choke points. And for game modes, I think you just need to weigh heavily on the Slayer side of things, like 50% or at least on having to be in a Slayer mode, and then 50% objective modes. I think that's really the kind of thing you should do for that, uh, just because I think most people that when they jump in to play Halo, they just want to play Slayer. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's be know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the Big Team Battle refresh. Let me know what you would like to see changed in Big Team Battle for this refresh. If you're new to the channel, stay up to date with anything Halo related. Make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. If you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.